In this problem, we have the graph of a function, and we're being asked to graph its inverse. The thing to remember about an inverse is that the x becomes the y, and the y becomes the x. You just swap those x and y for each of the coordinates in the graph of your original function to get the inverse. In a function like this one, where it's really just a couple of line segments put together, I think it's good to take the endpoints and take the inverse of those endpoints. Let me show you how this is done. Let's look at this point right here on the right. Its coordinates are 3, negative 2. So x is 3, and y is negative 2. If we want the inverse, we just swap those. So this is going to be 2, sorry, negative 2, 3. So let's plot negative 2, 3 right there. Here we have the point 0, negative 4. So we'll do the same thing there. We'll just swap these. We get negative 4, 0. So let's find that one right here. And then finally, we've got the point negative 7, negative 5. So we'll go ahead and swap those. And we get negative 5, negative 7. So let's plot that, negative 5 and negative 7. And then we're going to connect the dots. So from here to here, and from here to here. Now, if we did this correctly, if this is really the inverse, there's another property you should know about. And that is, if you draw a line, the line y equals x, this 40, uh, line that goes at a 45 degree angle uh, from left to right and up through the coordinate plane, it should bisect this. You should get a mirror image on either side. And that looks like exactly what has happened here. So that verifies that we really do have the inverse uh, of our original function. So that is how to graph the inverse of a function.